Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. So um, basically, um, if we look at a roundup of the event that happened for Microsoft Windows 11, lots said and not a lot at the same time, but we have things that we've seen that we have not seen here. So for example, in this build, it's the old Microsoft Store that's still here. They have shown us a redesigned Microsoft Store. They've shown us that the widgets will be a lot more than just what we see here. And there's going to be a lot more there to offer. Uh, integrated Xbox app for gamers. You'll now have you know all of that with the Game Pass and everything. I'm a user of uh, Game Pass. Uh, a lot of talk about what Windows will be for home. So today was clearly a focus of everything that is what you do um, at home and what you do on your PC, including um, some interesting stuff. So for example, here with OneDrive, even if I have not done anything on this computer, you can see here I have a Word, um, a Word file that says Windows 11 event, which are the notes that I've taken while actually watching the event on another PC. Uh, so clearly they're talking about productivity also and making us uh, share stuff between computers. This is obviously one of the examples. Uh, I wrote that on my Windows 10 PC and because I'm connected to OneDrive, it shows up here in the start menu. You could see it here on the start menu. It's, it's telling me this is one of the recent things that you have actually worked on. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, they're focusing a lot on the glass and effect and the transparencies like you see right now in, you know, in the background and so on. Lots of talk of that. Um, if you guys remember in the um, Windows 8, there was something called a charms bar. Well, a lot of stuff, and we've seen it here because when I click on the um, widgets, you see that the widgets is a panel from the left side of the screen. So we're kind of back with what Windows 8 introduced was a charms bar, which came from the side. It seems that there's going to be um, a possibility of having a lot of these panels now from the, the side of the right, the left or the right. And if you have a touch device, of course, you'll be able to swipe on these. Improved usability on touch devices. So once the device becomes a tablet, the icons space out a little more to make it easier for you to use on a touch device. A lot of people are asking about, you know, the fact that, well, yeah, but they're, they're not talking about anything touch. Uh, yeah, of course, it is also for touch devices. Of course, talked a lot about the snap layouts that you can now have. So every time you open a, a window, you'll be able to have, um, you know, the ability to uh, snap it in an easier way than before with, of course, snap layouts. Uh, I already showed you this. It's a neat little new feature to have snapped windows easily, uh, which is nice. Now, one of the things that is really cool is that the snap layouts also become snap groups. And they talked about that. That was very cool. What it means is that if you do a snap layout and you add apps and these other apps um, you know, you're going to snap in a different layout. They become what they call a snap group. So that snap group will now have the ability to actually open to the way you want them to open. So it's not just a snap layout. It becomes, it will become a snap group, which is very nice. So this is cool. As you see here, it says group. And of course you have the app itself, but I can go back to the snap group if I want. This is cool, honestly. Uh, this is cool because it means you can snap stuff, do a layout and go back to the layout the way it was, which was very, very uh, interesting. And I think this is a good idea. Um, gameplay HDR automatically um, will apply on any device that he is, of course, uh, I dynamic range screens. There's a demonstration for better image uh, on gameplay. They were showing how in uh, high dynamic range game is actually more beautiful. So if you have a PC compatible PC with an HDR screen, of course, that will be the case. Improved gaming and faster speeds than ever for both Windows itself. They were talking about it's going to be more efficient. 
It's going to be uh, using less battery power. It's going to be faster, but also gaming is going to be faster. Now, no DirectX 13. A lot of people are you know, talking about that. Gamers are like, uh, DirectX 13? No, still DirectX 12, but tweaked and, and improved for better and faster uh, gaming. And also Windows itself will be faster. One very interesting thing that they talked about that's not in this build. Android apps. So they showed the new Microsoft Store. They were showing apps like TikTok. That is not in Microsoft Store. But it was demonstrated on the screen. And that's where you understood that what they're going to have is something that's called Android app integration from the Microsoft Store through Amazon uh, by Intel's own uh, Android emulation, if you want. It, I know it's complex the way that it says here. And he actually said it in one phrase in a very fast speed of like 10 seconds. Um, so there will be Android app integration in Windows 11. So lots of interesting little stuff when you think about it. Um, minimum requirements. Next video, we're going to talk about that. And I'm going to show you how you can actually check if your PC is compatible to receive Windows 11. And this is coming this fall. That's what it was announced coming this fall. So um, and as for insiders, we have no idea when. Uh, there's no talk, but I wouldn't be surprised that maybe today, later today, uh, there will be something for insiders. Who knows? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.